In an effort to escape, Keith runs through the woods at the beginning of Season 1 Episode 8 of Mayfair. Rowan is still pursuing him despite the fact that he is bleeding and injured. He begs her to stop and give him control when Lasher shows up there. She directs him to pursue Keith and kill him. Keith follows Lasher to a random hut in the middle of a wilderness, where he is burned to death. Rowan has a pleasant picture in her head of Lasher killing Keith. Jojo tells Cortland about Tessa's death and tells him that Rowan left the scene before the family arrived in another location. Jojo begs her father to be honest because she finds it odd that he is obsessed with Rowan. When Cortland, who is observing the fire Lasher started with Cyprian from the bridge, refuses to provide any information, calls Albrecht. Cyprian apologizes for his reaction and thanks Albrecht for his confidence. He reassures Albrecht that he will comply with his demands. He removes his gloves and comes close to Albrecht, realizing that the man has the ability to rip memories apart. Albrecht's men arrive there simultaneously, but Cyprian insists on learning the entire story. He is reassured by Albrecht that finding out would be pointless because he would erase his memory. Cyprian argues that this would not be wise. He realizes that Albrecht helped Cortland cover his tracks after he killed Darder when he puts the pieces of the puzzle together. Cortland hired someone to kill Darder so that the prophecy would come true. Cyprian reaffirms to Albrecht that he is a part of the prophecy. He will need to use his memory to ensure that it is carried out. Albrecht comes along just as Rowan is about to give birth and offers to let him keep his memories as long as his soldiers accompany Cyprian to Rowan's location. Lasher rushes to help Rowan as he faints from the loss of blood. Rowan informs him that everyone involved in anything has passed away. Lasher assures Rowan that she is still alive and that she will survive the ordeal. She is challenged by Lasher to investigate further and locate the location where the wisdom of her ancestors is kept. Rowan diligently looks and discovers Susan's house. Lasher recognizes the voice as his when she hears it speaking in a different language. She wants Rowan to teach her as soon as she finds the marker that Susan left for her, which contains all of her knowledge. Rowan uses the marks to heal herself. Rowan is overjoyed when Lasher informs her that she now has the ability to heal other people. Additionally, she has control over every aspect that he has control over. Because she is satisfied with her new ability, Rowan wants to stay in the house for a long time. After she asks Lasher to stay with her, they fall in love. Lasher vanishes during their sexual encounter. Rowan wakes up to find a mark indicating that the portal is the 13th witch. Odette dials the number on a Talamesca card he finds among Cyprian's belongings. The one responds that no one by that name is present, and she is unable to assist when she inquires about Cyprian. Odette even tries to define Arjuna and asserts that he knows the truth. The elderly woman makes a second call after hanging up to let the other party know about the breach. Cyprian's laptop keeps getting broken into by Odette. Arjuna and Albrecht visit her. She is concerned that Cyprian will not return her call and will miss her child's birth. She is reassured by Albrecht that her brother is fine and is only attending to an urgent matter. He erases Odette's knowledge of Talam and the night she saw Arjun administer Cyprian's cure. Cyprian goes to Cortland while he's there where he meets Jodo. After Jodo tells him to wait, he touches a mask in the home. Cyprian was present the night Derreter touched the ask and became pregnant. Cortland killed the young man Derreter invited to her room and had sex with while she slept. Jojo doesn't trust Rowan's father when he tells her about his vision. After much thought, Jojo comes to the conclusion that her father was somehow involved in Derreter's death. She took Cyprian to the Mayfair residence with her and leads him to the room with his design remains. One of the Mayfair witches is asking for information about the prophecy when Cyprian touches the skull. Lasher comes to visit her, and he gives her the prediction. During the witching hour, according to the prophecy, Lasher would take on a powerful new form over the form of those bones. The thirteenth witch is in the doorway. Jojo says that the prophecy will take place in the mausoleum where all of the chosen people are buried. Dolly Jane informs them that Lasher's ripening time is measured in hours as she overhears them conversing. Cyprian leaves because Rowan is about to give birth, but Dolly Jean asks Jojo to stay behind. Dolly Jean tries to calm Jojo down. She asserts that Cortland also deceived her. Jojo says that they can't let what's going on become the story of their family. She thinks that someone else should take care of the family. Rowan wakes up to find Lasher gone, which shocks her. 
as she walks around the house pleading for him and promising that he would be there for her at the darkest hour. Her stomach begins to expand. She is encouraged to follow in the footsteps of her ancestors when Lasher speaks to her. As time runs out, Rowan is swiftly taken to several rooms despite her inability to comprehend his message. Rowan's remains are carried to the tomb by Cortland as everything takes place. Before placing her on the vault of the mausoleum, he gives her some grooming. While still following in her ancestors' footsteps, Rowan meets her mother in the final room. Lasher has run out of time. Deretter lets the woman know. Lasher is the name of the baby she is carrying, and it is witching hour. Rowan has come to the realization that she serves as Lasher's entry point into human form since becoming the 13th witch. Rowan is greeted by Susan's ghost upon her eventual awakening, who assures her that everything is as it should be. She is there to help Rowan deliver the baby. Rowan begins experiencing labor pains, and Susan helps her deliver the baby while Cortland stands back and watches. She is reassured by Susan that if she accepts the healthy newborn boy, he will empower her greatly. In the meantime, Cyprian calls Albrecht and asks for permission to bring the child to Talamisca. He warns them to be careful because the baby will be a powerful being. If they keep an eye on the infant, it will be wise. Using Rowan's faith in him, Cyprian plans to kidnap the child. Albrecht, who is still at Cyprian's house, decides to take Odette to Talamesca to wake her up. He hopes that Odette will care for Rowan's baby once Cyprian takes him. Rowan sets the baby down at the same time and tries to run away because she sees how quickly he is growing. She can see Cortland, who is also there to pick up the child. She decides that she won't let him have her son, who is already crawling. She accepts his offer and makes use of his abilities to attempt to kill Cortland. When her powers don't work, she's surprised. It surprises Cortland that Lasher kept his promise to make him eternal. She, however, sees and comprehends everything he comprehends now that Lasher and Rowan are one. She turns Cortland into a stone in order to tell him about what he did to her mother. When she takes the child out of the tomb with her and Cyprian, it is pouring rain. She tells him that the child is their son and asks that they go back to their happy home. When Cyprian offers to carry the child, Rowan notices that there is another person in the group. Despite her inquiries, Cyprian tells lies to her. Rowan is persuaded by Cyprian that Lasher is swaying her as lightning strikes the earth close to where she is standing. He is informed by Rowan that she is in charge and in charge of the illumination. She won't be able to control the abilities of the baby. She hears from Cyprian, Rowan responds, I'm the one who can't manage her, and then leaves while carrying the child. I appreciate your viewing. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click the bell so you don't miss any of the most recent videos from Tehercap.